Hello guys and welcome to this video. My name is Johan Potgieter. Most people know me as Potty. I am a professional mountain biker. I usually make ma make videos of uh, mountain biking and mountain bike skills, etc. But today I'm doing things a little bit differently. I will be reviewing my very own 7th generation Isuzu D-Max 1.9 LS. Buckies are fun. But anyway, back to serious business. Alright, so I am by no means a professional car reviewer and also I haven't driven all the other Buckies to really compare this one to them. But what I have driven is the sixth generation, the one before this. So most of the comparisons will probably be against that. Um, currently I've done about 25,000 kilometers in my current one, the 7th generation, and I did about 20,000 kilometers in my previous one, the 6th generation that I had. So, without further ado, let's begin this review. So, Isuzu is known for their reliability, and this reputation really started with their KB Bucky from the early to mid 90s. In fact, you still see a lot of those Buckies on the road today. Now this new 7th generation D-Max has been the second best selling Bucky for March in 2023 and for good reason. But I have to say, when I heard the 2.5 litre was getting replaced by a 1.9, I was really skeptical. However, after driving this Bucky for the last couple of months, I have to say Isuzu really stepped up their game in terms of in appearance, in terms of drive quality and the engine. Okay, so let's start with the interior. And I feel this is where Isuzu improved a lot. The previous model was not bad and I loved my bucky to bits, but everything in this new model is just a bit more refined. You've got a seven inch infotainment screen here with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You've got cruise control as standard on this LS model. The steering wheel is real leather and it feels expensive in your hands. Um, the dials, are still physical buttons here yeah? not everything is on the touch screen you know like a lot of modern cars so it's still the aircon everything still physical dials that you turn and I have to say I like that uh, another thing I would I would recommend is these awesome new leather seats uh, they are super comfortable I had them fitted as an optional extra on this on this bucky uh, but they are super comfortable especially for long journeys and then another thing is the start sequence check this out And I have to say, I like that. Right, so in terms of space in the back, Isuzu is one of the leaders in the game. However, I would say in this new generation, there's a tiny bit less space in the back than the previous one. And that they obviously sacrificed in pursuit of more space in the load bin. But this seat is in my driving position. And I would say there's more than enough room at the back here for a six foot adult. Now, Let's talk about the engine. This has a 1.9 liter DDI engine in and that replaces the outgoing 2.5 liter. And most of the questions have been asked about this 1.9 in this new generation. So the power is up from 100 to 110 kilowatts and the torque is up from 320 to 350 newton meters. Now the big question is, will you be happy with it? And I would say, yes, I think you will be. Let me do a quick acceleration and you guys can see what I'm on about. So this is by no means one of the fastest buckies, but I would say the days of slow Isuzu's are over. So, how does this vehicle drive? Well, in my experience, buckies generally drive quite hard, and rightly so. I mean, they're utility vehicles, they're made to carry heavy loads and tow heavy trailers, etc. But nowadays, buckies have become more of a lifestyle vehicle as well. Uh, people buy them for their daily drive, so there has to be a level of comfort involved. And I have to say, I'm really happy with how this bucky drives. 
the seats are nice and comfortable the steering's very well weighted if there are a couple of complaints um, in the mornings especially when the vehicle's cold there's a bit of a delay to the throttle response you step on the throttle and it takes a while for the vehicle to get going and that could be a bit annoying the other thing is uh, when the vehicle switched off and the keys left in the ignition there's an annoying beep going off the whole time um, however none of those are deal breakers and like I said earlier I've done about 25,000 kilometers in this vehicle thus far and I will gladly do 25,000 more now let's talk fuel economy and I feel this is this engine's party piece now as a general rule of thumb anything under 10 liters per 100 kilometers would be very good for a bucky buckies are heavy they're not really aerodynamic so anything under 10 liters per 100 k's I would say is very good so I often drive from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town and back now that's not the most economical road if I'm honest it's up and down it's sea level the air is nice and thick and I average about between 9 and 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers on that trip and that's driving 120 130 sometimes I recently did a trip up to Sabi uh, for the SA Champs that I took part in there and from Port Elizabeth to Sabi and back to Port Elizabeth the whole round trip was about 3,100 kilometers and I averaged 8.6 liters per 100 kilometers it's incredible and then recently and this blows my mind they did an economy run with this 1.9 litre engine and they drove from Midrand in Johannesburg to Signal Hill in Cape Town with one tank of fuel. Of course they did an economy run, they used manual vehicles for the, for the test but nonetheless I think that's incredible and that averaged at 5.1 litres per 100 kilometres. Incredible. So what are my final thoughts? Well. I don't think you can buy a bad buck anymore. However, the Isuzu name has stood the test of time. So you'll definitely not go wrong with getting your hands on one of these new 7th generation D-Maxes. They also come with one of the best warranties in the business. It comes standard with a 5 year 120,000 km warranty as well as a 5 year 90,000 km service plan. And then finally, I would like to hear from you guys. Have you guys driven the new 7th generation Isuzu? Please let me know in, your in the comments what you guys think. I would love to hear from you.